Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push Through dark clouds that try to tear you down Why do you Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, hey, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ow, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ow, what's up, Sag? I say Sag. What's popping? Did you miss me? I heard that it was just a Sagittarius birthday. I mean, that's 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 what I heard or whatever. I want you guys to charge my mind, not my heart. I did not forget about you all. And even though we're a day late out of your motherfucking season, we still gonna take time to say happy birthday to Sag. Happy birthday to Sag. Happy birthday to your finest. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. Y'all know I love y'all finances. Honey. Hey, boy, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my cha channel, listen, I cuss, okay? Make cuss a little, make cuss a lot, just depending on what these cards say, oh, but I'm a cuss, all right? So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free right now, now to go find another reader who can assist you without cussing, because me, <laughs> this is how we do it, sha -da 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 -da. This is my shit, okay? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, you guys. Thank you from the most humblest space ever, okay? Um, also, so if you need a person to read that information will be found within the description box below. I don't do all of that techie shit for nothing. Go look that shit up. Don't be asking me no damn rhetorical questions in the comments. Go look that shit up. I put it together. Bitch learn how to copy and paste just for you. <laughs> Sagittarius, I literally felt the energy of fate in the black for the month of December, okay? This will be your monthly uh, reading. Uh, for the month of December. I know we late, but as long as we up in there, we motherfucking great, right? Right. Merry Christmas, little baby. Alright. Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa, little baby. Happy, happy, Merry Christmas. If you ain't hear me the first time, happy Kwanzaa. Happy motherfucking New Year, little baby. Yeah, Smoker loves you. Alright. If you're a first time subscriber, um, you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight and fuss. However, we do cuss, alright? We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten. Posy vibes only, positive type teams, alright? So without further ado, let's jump into um, your mid month December reading, or I'll say your December reading for the month of, uh, for bitch, for the month of, for December 2020, alright? Sagittarius, honey. I got two songs for y'all. The first one, um, intuitively, I got Drake featuring Le Dirk. Um, sometimes we laugh, but sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now, baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down, baby. What are these people be? Wait, what are these niggas be at when they say they doing all this and all that? All right, so I felt this energy of sad. Someone, some of you guys are getting a front row seat to someone's karma. I also heard Betty write, um, after the pain and all that I've been through, I welcome you, okay? So I definitely feel, um, that's why I still love him like I do, okay? So Sagittarius, some of y'all have gone through some shit, okay, with the motherfucking you and two minds. Should I leave this motherfucker and completely close the door, or should I put up with some more of they shit, even though they didn't show me who the fuck they are? I feel like for some of you all, Sag, for uh, a lot of you all, this is a past life relationship, and the intensity of this relationship, I felt that you guys, this could be a divine partnership, but I feel like for some of you all, this is a karmic relationship where it was built off of the foundations of just sex and lust, okay? Some of you all are realizing that you're not in love with somebody. You're in lust with their ass because they got that good... They be popping at me, Sag. Who popping at me? See that shit in the comment section. Somebody popping at me. Spinning on it, <laughs> doing some jumping, jumping, twisting, doing... <laughs> Popping, popping while, uh, while while twisting in circles. Somebody's popping that motherfucker. Is you popping it for pimp or no? Nah? Okay, <laughs> Sag. 
All right, so we're going to jump into the intuitive messages that I got down for you all, okay? But there was a lot of healing energy. I feel like, Sag, for some of you all, you're taking time when it comes to relationships, friendships, partnerships. I felt the energy of hermit mode for you to, for some of you all, this has to do with you expanding your awareness or expanding your consciousness, okay? Some of y'all is reading motherfucking big, big book reading energy, okay? I also picked up on the energy of unexpected travel or unexpected offers. I'm hearing an opportunity, Sag. Some of you all may receive some type of unexpected opportunity. This could be something that you actually wanted to do or something that you wanted to be a part of. I feel like as soon as you threw in a damn towel and stopped worrying about, or for that matter, um, I'm hearing obsessing over a particular outcome, things fell in your lap, okay? And you guys got spiritual teacher, you got new home, branding, backfires, front row seat, practitioner, embarrassment, past life, karmic blessings, Acknowledging of the shadow self, triggered, acceptance, travel, abandonment, rejection, exposure, divine intervention, fasting, spell work, health, energy harvesting, spiritual inheritance, synchronicity, animal totem revelations, bloodline, guarded, New love, freedom, astrology, say less, holistic healer, poking the bear, forgiveness, <laughs> it's above me now, perception, sacral chakra, plot twist, observation, narcissism, heart chakra, doppelganger, throat chakra, interference, sex magic, unexpected financial blessings, Divine intervention and exposure. I think I had already got up there. All right. So that's the messages that I got for Sagittarius, okay? Sag, I'll pick up on this energy of someone watching you like when admiration turns into envy. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone knowing your fate better than you do. I feel like someone's trying to make you go left when intu in intuitively you know that you're supposed to fucking go right. And Spirit is saying, yeah, it's better to get right before you get left, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of someone forfeiting their destiny. This could have to do with a twin flame, uh, twin flame partnership. This could also have to do when it comes to their career path. I feel like for some of you all, you could be dealing with a fixed energy. You could have a business with this individual. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who does not have the motivation that you, they, they don't match you when it comes to ambition. I feel like this individual is rich in resources and rich in ideas, but they drag their feet and actually start some shit. Somebody got ideas for years, but this person don't actually start a motherfucking thing. And I feel like for some of you all, someone's offended because you're leaving their ass behind. Someone also, I, I'm hearing content okay says there could be a big focus on content maybe you could be realizing that someone took your content someone could be realizing that you took their content but there's a big focus on legalities paperwork doppelganger copycat okay so let's jump into it i'm also picking up on the energy sash for some of you all i feel like you're you're reflecting on a situation i feel like this is a situation where there could have been some type of misunderstanding or misperception around something that either you did or another person did. I feel like someone's on the edge of their seat as, as to how someone feels about something or how someone's going to react or respond. I'm also picking up on the energy of lost respect. Some of y'all could be losing respect for someone based on a decision that they made. Sagittarius, I'm also picking up on the energy. Some of y'all could be finding out that somebody could have dealt with a family member or dealt with someone in your family or someone could have lied about connecting with someone. That's getting ready to come out. I feel like it's family related. So this could be someone who you're friends with. I feel like this was a tit for tat ass action, but someone didn't get the... Someone didn't get the response that they expected to get from you. I feel like you're tired of this person shit. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who got a sex addiction. For others of you, I'm also picking up on the energy of someone sleeping with someone who you don't like. Again, that tit for tat ass energy. Someone could have also contracted an STD from this. Some of y'all could be finding this out. I'm also hearing blasted on social media, okay? So someone could get blasted on social media in the month of December. And I feel like sad to sit back drinking their wine like... <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Big bullet dodging around this bitch. Alright? So Sagittarius, I feel like some of you all could have dodged a bullet. 
All right, so we're going to get into your crystal oracle message for the month of December. Spirit messages. Well, what's, what crystal will be useful for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as Mars and Jupiter? North Node as well and Cross Watchers. All right. You guys got Cherio number 50. Five, five brings change. For some of you all, you could be going through some type of massive, massive change when it comes to your career. Okay. For some of you all, you're making the you're making the decision to completely abandon. It sounds so shiny. You're making a decision to completely abandon a situation. A person a union okay I feel like for some of you all you you've been a slave to your loyalty to people it's like you've been overly caring about motherfuckers who don't care about their own growth their own path their own um some of y'all dealing with somebody who don't know how to make decisions from themselves for themselves and I feel like this have to do with the suppression of their expression when they were a child having to do with the mother figure this could be you or another person all right cherry oak wound healing yes come through Chiron Cherio provides deep physical and emotional healing. Transmuting negative energy, it converts dis-ease to wellness. With this assistance, with its assistance, you recognize that your greatest trauma is also your most powerful, profound gift. Accept it with grace. Cherio re-energizes, heals, and integrates dualities, healing past life diseases carried into the present life. For a self-understanding, deep fears and schisms pervade your being. You may not feel that you belong on earth. Alienation and insecurity lie beneath a deceptively calm surface. You are, subtle, you are subtly, subtly driven by other people's thoughts and programs rather than your own. Your atomic nervous system may be malfunctioning. If so, it needs recalibrating. For divination use, it's time to take control. You are undergoing a vibrational change, creating links to higher realities. Visions of past lives suggest ways to redress karma personally and collectively. Healing insight and accepting the present moment as perfect, you create the space to heal. The frequency of this stone is high. It's good for all the chakras, good for any timing, okay, and those with the soul path of service to humanity, healing the wounds of the past, okay? So I'm strongly here in transmutation with this energy here, all right? Transmutation, flipping your, turning your pain into power, all right? So let's get into it. Let's, oh, shit. Let's jump into the tarot. In fact, we're going to get a soul journey message for you guys. For the month of December. I'm going to start naming these readings timeless. Because for some of you all I've been seeing in the comments. Well some of y'all is going back and looking at videos from two years ago. A year ago. And saying that it's resonant. Of course you know time is linear. Okay. Whoa. Sagittarius. Give me two. Two for Sagittarius. Soul journey. What you want? Alright. Oh. I'm go to so jealous ass. Hating ass bitch. Some of y'all got parasites. I'm also hearing energy harvesting. Somebody could have been doing some spell work when it comes to your growth, Sag. Some of y'all need to get the motherfucking reversal candles motherfucking popping. Get into the studies of herbal divination. That's what I'm picking up on. Some of y'all are shamans as well, okay? Past, present, and future is significant when it comes to the access of the Akashic. And I feel like it's giving you clarity in the now so that you can make the, the proper decision whether to create or to close out a cycle, okay? Recreate, remodel, restructure, or close it out completely. You guys got growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. That big book reading energy, okay? For some of you all, I'm also picking up on practicing work. For some of you all, I'm also picking up on a shift in your religious views. I feel like there's a lot of... This feels like a lot of philanthropist energy as well as philosopher or um, philosophical energy. I feel like for some of you all, you're learning something so that you can master it and teach this to other people. And I feel like you're executing this within your own everyday life experiences, okay? You guys got envy. I'm the same as everybody but with different challenges. For some of you all, Sag, I immediately heard a boss up. Someone's envious of your boss up. Some of you guys, someone could have actually like watched you go through your process of building something or starting something new. And I feel like it's flourishing at this time. And somebody feels left out. I'm also picking up on a copycat energy. Like someone, um, someone trying to emulate your motherfucking juice, but they just don't drip like you, bitch. You too. Yeah, we ain't we ain't doing that. So some of y'all got an envious asshole. Who been somebody been hating? They couldn't wait to hate because they've been hating at the, look. They've been hating at the gate. Shit, them bitches been hating forever. I'm also picking up on a competitive friendship, like oranges and apples. All right, so let's get into it. Who messages do you have for my Sagittarius for the month of December? Give me recent past Sagittarius. 
Yeah, some of you guys could have recently started something new. What the fuck I tell y'all? Did I tell y'all y'all got an envious motherfucker, a motherfucker trying to flip the whole damn script? Someone has been trying to slow you down when it comes to your new endeavors. Be careful when it do be careful not to tell anything anybody anything that you're starting. I don't give a fuck if it's mama, uncle, daddy, cousin. Hate is coming many forms, many faces. Ain't no damn limitations on the hate, alright? Ain't no damn it's not gender specific, alright? Um I'm also picking up on the energy of, for some of you all, this could also be you being an illuminist. For some of you all, you're afraid of being judged or being seen as a witch or a warlock. Or you're afraid of being perceived as evil when it comes to spell work, practicing. This could also be healing work. But I feel like you have a higher calling. Spirit is literally calling you to the forefront to teach this to the collective or be of service to the collective. Based on where you've been, your experiences, as well as what you've learned when it comes to self-mastery. Okay, you're being called to be vulnerable. For some of you all also, some of y'all have a Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo. Somebody is trying to manipulate the ending because they are they, they're 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 completely in tune and aware when it comes to your path, your purpose. Someone knows that they asses ain't supposed to be sitting at the motherfucking table and, and they stress the fuck out about it, Sag. They are stressed the fuck out about it. And I feel like for some of you all, you're okay with letting this in. Some of y'all, this could definitely be involved in an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like what's being illuminated is, is that somebody secretly wants to go. I feel like someone was waiting on their finances to become back in tech. Or someone's waiting on some type of alignment of finances when it comes to stability and security. Someone's staying in the situation only due to um, finances, stability. I'm also picking up, um, also picking up on the truth coming out regarding the paternity of a child. Some y'all could be dealing with, yeah. And for some of you all, you could be finding out a particular secret or someone's secret by going through their phone. Someone's also in a damn head, stressed out, insecure. This person want to go through your phone. All right. Some of you all could be, yeah. Uh, some of you guys could be uh, wanting to know if it's safe. I feel like for some of you all, some of y'all could definitely be watching, spying in on, looking in on secretly. With the Virgo or an Aries individual, this person could also be doing this with you, or this could also have to do with an Aquarius. I'm picking up on the energy of someone like seeking you shall find, honey. Okay. I'm also hearing legalities as well. For others of you, there's a lot of hacking energy. Be careful with your passwords, sharing your passwords, logging in on somebody else's device. Sagittarius, yeah, with this lovers in reverse. I feel like something is over here. Something is over. There's some type of there's some type of towel moment that's occurring involving someone's security. I feel like someone's being backed up in a corner. And I feel like the element of coming out fighting has to do with them tapping into their creative energy and creating something new. I'm hearing that Drake. I just flipped the switch. Flip it, flip it. I don't know nobody else that's doing this. Okay, so for some of you all, this this has to do with something that you're meant to do or a gift that you have that's very influential to the collective. I feel like for some of you all, this is something that you're supposed to build, something that you're supposed to create. A lot of you all are entrepreneurs, okay? I'm picking up on the energy of whatever, whatever it was that wasn't being communicated between you and a fire sign, okay? I feel like for some of you all, when it comes to dealing with the element of fire, some of you all don't see this relationship going anywhere. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the Leo. I feel like you're done with this person's manipulation. This person is done with your manipulation. Sad. Somebody has been dragging their ass to start something or make something or solidify something here. And the other person is fucking tired, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy. Some of y'all, somebody could actually be like, some of y'all could be finding out that somebody is out here in these streets paying for that pee. Alright? I'm also picking up on the energy of someone being confused regarding their sexuality. And this is tied to some type of uh, childhood trauma around molestation, okay? I'm hearing walking in your truth, okay? Coming out of the closet as well. For some of you all, yeah. Some of y'all, you could be, some of y'all could be, there could be a Scorpio or a family dynamic when it comes to the co-parenting. Like some of y'all try something and the shit's just not working. I feel like you're getting the same result, all right? But for some of you all, there's someone who wants to offer, some of y'all could be um, getting some type of an apology or making some type of uh, making some type of apology to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like someone has to shift their perception. Someone is very chaotic. Someone expects the worst out of things. I'm also picking up on the energy with the fire sign. This person doesn't have stand power. I feel like someone abandons you or rejects you. I feel like they do it first or they initiate this 
because they're afraid of this. Like, like someone is projecting their fears onto you through their fucking actions, okay? For some of you all, there's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You are done with this individual. You're tired of their toxic shit. For some of y'all, this person is very karmic to your money. Some of y'all have a Taurus that feels entitled to be in your motherfucking life and you cutting that motherfucker off too. I feel like they're not bringing anything to the table except for fucking complaints, excuses, and I'm hearing lies. <laughs> For others of you, you have to make a choice between possibly a Libra and a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm also seeing divine intervention when it comes to a love situation. For others of you, someone's that someone's expressing that they don't want to be married anymore. And I'm also picking up on Sag, if you're going to court for paternity, this is not your child. This is a water sign child. For some of you all, the truth is coming out regarding a situation where someone is your, I feel like if you're going to court for a for a daughter, this is not your child. This is a water sign baby or a Libra's baby. If you're going to court for a fire sign child or an air sign child, this is your kid, Sag. Someone's finding out that this is your kid, but I feel like for some of you all, yeah, some of you all, somebody's trying to stack their money before a secret comes out. Someone has also been procrastinating some type of end. I'm also picking up on whatever it is that you have been working on creatively, but dragging your damn feet around launching. Spirit is saying, do that shit because you're going to go from the five of pentacles to the eight. I feel like your, your finances, okay, as well as the doors that's opening for you, strongly just depends on how you put yourself out there. For some of you all, this has to do with your services, your knowledge, travel. Some of y'all are going to choose to move to a completely different state and start anew. And Spirit is saying, that's a blessed move, okay? Yeah, some y'all, there's a, yeah, there's a Pisces, some of y'all is over a Pisces or a Cancer shit. Some of you all are also being illuminating, uh, illuminated of a connection and some type of soul tie to another individual from a previous life around abandonment. I feel like there's going to be closure brought to a situation. There's going to be fairness, okay? I feel like someone's going to give fairly to you, Sag. Because you are choosing to end a situation, now somebody want to fucking give, all right? I feel like for some of you all, you're being defensive toward this Taurus, this Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you all, you could have recently cut off a water sign and Spirit is saying, listen, if this was done for your fulfillment, Spirit is saying, listen... Listen, allow the tower to fall where it may, okay? For some of you all, you don't know if it's safe to invest in a family dynamic or a family situation with someone who you have possibly a daughter with. I'm also seeing two children, a boy and a girl, okay? This could, yeah, some of y'all got a damn Capricorn. Somebody got a Capricorn or a Virgo that's digging through their shit while they sleep. Face recognition is what I'm hearing, Sag, all right? I'm also picking up on, yeah, some type of truth coming out regarding a cancer in a third party situation. I feel like someone was trying to avoid this truth from being exposed, but Spirit is saying no more. This is divine intervention. I'm also picking up on someone. If you're dealing with a Libra, this person is going to have justice in the situation, period. I just I just see that, okay? I feel like there's this, this feels like a sacrificial game, Sag. You have to give something in order to get something, but whatever it is that you're giving, it's been a distraction to your energy anyway. It's been a block to your focus. And for some of you all, you... You've been attaching your damn self to a damn sex demon, incubus, succubus, who takes from you. This person drains your energy. This person drains your creative energy. They drain you financially. They drain you mentally, Sash, and you're having a realization of this. Some of y'all may actually look at a motherfucker and wake up next to a person and actually see an animal, a pig, a rat on this person's motherfucking body. You may even dream of this, like have this awareness within or revealed to you within your subconscious okay but y'all this leo this leo don't want you to walk away from the past said they want to reconcile but this person don't want to fucking be honest so i feel like for some of you all you're ending this cycle with an aquarius taurus leo scorpio another sagittarius i feel like something's ending for you okay for blessings to be restored in your life but this is a sacrificial game you have to give something in order to get something i'm also picking up on some somebody making something right with the fire sign okay all right, so let's give me some advice here for my Sagittarius. Advice for Sag, yeah, free your fucking self, freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. You ain't never needed any other motherfucker to make you happy. For some of you all, I'm also hearing you may have to. Uh, some of y'all may have to uh, stand up for yourself at the motherfucking criminal dinner. Cause somebody really trying to play with you like that is it play you like you some type of uh sucker or play you play you as if you don't know what the fuck you talking about and some of y'all finna have to get real real with the individual who really been they've been cruising for their bruising for quite some time 
You finna have to check a shady ass bitch or free yourself from a situation that is completely draining to you. This is about being real with yourself. You can't expect for others to be honest, but you can always expect honesty from your damn self. Good or bad or ugly or whatever that looks like. But you guys are walking in acceptance. And also, you guys are walking into a beautiful harvest. But it's gonna come at the it's gonna come at the cost of leaving something behind. For some of you all, this is ascended friendships. Don't feel bad or don't be a, don't feel bad for choosing yourself. It's about fucking time, Sagittarius. Okay? So, you guys, I pray that this resonates. You guys, let me know, honey, in the comment section. Blow that motherfucker up. Cause somebody, yeah, somebody was popping it for pimp over here, okay? Whether you the fucking pimp or not, I don't know. Okay? But somebody was popping it for motherfucking pimp. Somebody spins and jumps on that motherfucking thing. Sag, and someone here is addicted to that yoni. But they can't motherfucking tell the truth to say that even if you paid this if you pay, if you paid this motherfucker to tell the truth and be honest with their damn self and be consistent. If you paid them, if their life depended on this, and you paid them, they will be a broke or a dead motherfucker. Okay? So you guys, I love you long time. I hope that this message finds you in love. I will definitely see you guys for the new year. And happy holidays, little baby. Bye.